Josh, go ahead. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. That'll be fun. Uh, Jonathan, I just wanted to know the first 23 minutes of that game were, were obviously probably not what you guys expected, not what you guys wanted to sort of have happen. What did you see from, from back in the goal, the way that you guys started? Yeah, um, just obviously collectively and making some bad decisions and um, just didn't deal with things very well um, in the final third and obviously put ourselves under a lot of pressure from, from early on and then gave us um, a mountain to climb. So. Uh, yeah, obviously disappointing first 23 and then um, kind of a, a decent reaction after that. Uh, on that first goal, the ball seemed to sort of float up there a little bit. Did you think you had a chance to save that? Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to lie, the turf absolutely killed me. Um, the ball doesn't bounce on the turf and it's very difficult when you're training every day um, and you're used to a certain standard of field. Um, and then suddenly we're playing on on that and look obviously I got to say I, I can do better but honestly that's that can't that can't be a professional standard of of, of uh, surface the ball literally you could see it even outside of the the 18 yard box every time there's a long ball the ball just dies as if the the pitch is waterlogged um, makes the game very difficult um, for everyone but um, especially for obviously teams that come here and it's just very frustrating because um, obviously that's an important moment the first goal and yeah it's just something that I've got to just accept and, and, and move forward from Did you see uh, Chris's penalty obviously it was coming at you um, and then they ended up changing it to a second yellow card instead of a red card that whole fun thing but did you think there was a foul there? No uh, I felt like he at the last second got inside position on him um, there was obviously a little bit of contact but I felt like he got his leg in front I feel like he made some contact with the ball which the ref said to me that there was no contact on the ball when I saw it on the screen up above it looked like there was a little bit of contact um, and I felt like their player had kind of been caught up speed wise and was looking for a, a foul um, I didn't think it was a a foul and then obviously not only was it a penalty but a, a red card as well so um, yeah very frustrating uh, decision despite going down 3 nothing, you guys came back uh, made it 3-2 until the 4-2 there at the end uh, what does what does that does that give you guys something does that at least leave somewhat of a, maybe a little more positive taste in your mouth than you would have had yeah it does um, it's still obviously not the result we wanted um, but when you're 23 minutes into the game 3-0 down with 10 men that can go really, really wrong. Um, and the fact that we had, we were looking really for the equaliser and pushing and pushing, um, and made it so close was, um, was yeah, pretty an an, an impressive reaction. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's something that we can feel proud of the character that we showed to get back in the game. But at the same time, we don't want to be uh, chasing like that too many times. At, at the end of the day, we've had a run of of eight games. Um, we were seven unbeaten until today. Um, obviously, we've got a bit of a break now. Um, they're in decent form, so it's always going to be a little bit of a, a difficult game um, regardless. Robert, travel safe. Thank you. Thanks. Jonathan, you mentioned the turf killed you. What kind of standard would you like to see the league set in terms of pitches for the league, the teams? I mean, just something that bounces, honestly. like the, we, I actually enjoy playing on turf when we play uh, Seattle, Portland, um, New England, sometimes like the surface can feel like it's not great or maybe made for American football, but out there the, the ball just doesn't bounce, like the ball just dies. And it's very frustrating them having to say this obviously after conceding a goal because of that, but it's something that we, we talk about anyway, like during the game. It's just, yeah, every time when I came here last season I was really shocked by it, to be honest. Um, so it's frustrating but it kind of gives uh, it's another one of those things that makes it more difficult when you come here to, to play Vancouver uh, LA's uh, had some challenges on the road this season how do you guys think you can find your form away from home? Um, I mean I don't know that what the record is I exactly but um, yeah look we've had a, we've had a difficult um, we've had a difficult start to the season regardless uh, home, home or away we're obviously playing catch up a little bit. We've had a good run um, in the last seven, eight, seven, eight games. 
we have to um, look at the momentum that we've kind of given ourselves. Obviously, there's a break now, and we're going into a different competition. But there's going to be 12 more games, I think, after this League's Cup. Um, and it's not far off uh, a similar position to to kind of how we made it last season, where we built up some momentum and um, and really did well, really, uh, at the end of the season and into the playoffs. So we're looking at that as like a, a template. Final, one, final yeah. one from me. Uh, you have the Whitecaps again for the Cup tournament later this month, not at BC Place. Uh, what are your thoughts on playing the team again, maybe at home? How different it might be? Um, I mean, I'm not really thinking that far ahead at the moment. Um, obviously, the Whitecaps are doing really well uh, in, in the league. They had some good some good results. And then we've got Leon as well, who are the CONCACAF Champions League champions. Um, so it actually makes it exciting, you know, um, playing against them and obviously playing against the, a team that we also know really well. So. Um, it'll be a great experience to play in both games um, and we're all very much looking forward to it. So um, first now a little break and then yeah, we'll get our minds right for that. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thank Bobby. you. Cheers.